Welcome to the fourth episode of the SketchUp plugin reviews. In today's video, I'll introduce you to another three completely free plugins. So let's get right to it. First extension, Multiple Offsets by Sam D. Mitch. This plugin simply allows you to create multiple offsets inside or outside selected faces with just a couple of clicks. You just select the faces you want and activate the plugin by going to the extensions menu and selecting multiple offsets. A dialog box will appear asking you to choose between constant, formula or list. Let's first choose constant. Now you get to choose the number of offsets, the offset distance, the direction of the offset and whether you want to delete the faces afterwards. Click OK when you're done. See the result. Now, let's see the other two offset methods. Formula allows you to create multiple offsets that differ from one another. This measurement values is controlled by the formula you input here. You can use the addition formula, which is practically the same as the constant method offset with a different first offset, or multiplication. When you choose multiplication, see that every new offset is bigger than the last one. If you select the list method, here you get to type the different offset values one after the other separated by commas. Second extension, Tools on Surface by Frido6. This plugin consists of a suite of tools for drawing on curved surfaces with lines, various shapes, offsets and freehand drawing. Let's browse over these tools very fast. So every time you activate a tool, this extra toolbar appears and helps you to control additional settings. This toggle, for example, switches between the creation of construction lines and regular lines. This toggle here adds also construction points to your lines. With this one, you create a group. This one activates the protractor. With this one enabled, you will generate faces. And this last one creates curves instead of just curved segments. The different tools are rectangle. Here you can set different construction methods. Next, we've got circle, and here you can set the number of segments. Then, polygon, ellipse, parallelogram, arc, three point circle, and the pie sector. Other than all of that, we've got the offset tool, the freehand draw tool, the eraser here, and then edit mode that allows you to move the points of the curves you already drew. Third extension, Sketchy FFD. This is a very cool plugin that allows you to manipulate the shape of an object by adding a control cage to the mesh and moving the control points of that same cage. The mesh needs to be in a group or component or this won't work. So you just right click on the object you want to manipulate, go to the FFD menu and select if you want a 2x2 or a 3x3 cage. Or you can decide whatever number of control points you want by choosing this option right here. Let's go with the 4x4x4 four by four by four cage. This creates a group of control points that you can add it to your likings, creating all kinds of interesting shapes. If for some reason you want some geometry to not be affected by the transformations, you can select these edges and lock them just like this. So that's all the time we have for this fourth episode of the series. You can find the link to the other episodes in the description. Go watch the first one if you don't know how to install plugins into SketchUp. Let me know in the comments which one of the three I showed you today is your favorite one. Tell me if you want to see more of these videos and if you like to give me a helping hand, please share this video with your SketchUp loving friends. Don't forget to hit like and if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao adios, I'm done. For today, I mean. Bye. Be sure to subscribe to my Blender channel too if you want to check Blender out. Bye bye.